Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how to buy a domain name or get a domain name, uh, particularly within Bluehost, though this could work with other hosting providers as well. The concept is, is very similar. Um, and if you don't have Bluehost already and you're wanting to get signed up, I'll put a link down in the description um, along with some extra deals and discounts they give to our subscribers. So feel free to take advantage of that if you like. So what I want to do here is once you're over in your, your back office, your cPanel area, uh, over on the left-hand side, go down to where it says domains, go ahead and click on that. Now, if you have any other domains, it will list those here. But what we want to do is up here where it says add domain, we're gonna click on that. And then this will take us to a place where we can check and see if uh, the domain we want is available. So I had one here, I was already looking up, discover dude, actually I'll put .com, and then I'm gonna click check. And if the domain isn't available, it'll let you know, and then you can find and look for another one. So we can see discoverdude.com is available, it's $12.99, and I can go ahead and purchase that. Now you can use an outside um, service like Namecheap, I love using them as well. Um, that's also an option. Then you can connect that to your Bluehost account. But I wanted to show you this. It's very easy. It's nice sometimes just having the domain, <clears throat> excuse me, having your domain um, within your Bluehost account. And so for, for the sake of simplicity, this is certainly the way to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Add to Cart here. And I'll click Next. Okay, register a domain. So here you have a couple options. You can automatically renew the domain before it expires. This is recommended. The reason they, they say it's recommended is if you have a domain, you have a website, and it's approaching a year, let's say you forget to renew it, then your domain will expire and then your website won't be available for anyone to watch anymore. And if you wait long enough, someone could actually buy your domain, and then you're, you're really in a difficult spot there. So that's why they recommend to automatically renew the domain before it expires. Now, I'm actually gonna click Do Not Automatically Renew, and that's because I'm using this for more testing, for some tutorials, some ex explanations, and I may not keep the domain, so I rather than um, automatically have it renew, I'm gonna choose Do Not Automatically Renew. So depending on your situation, you can uh, change or, or select the one you want. Also, you can always change this later. So if you start out here, you can change it to here and vice versa. Okay, by default, uh, new domain registrations will use your profile information, so that's great. Um, domain privacy, $15 per year. I'm gonna uncheck that. Um, if you want some additional privacy, you can certainly pay for that, just if you wanna make sure um, it's really hidden, you know, your website, who, who owns it, so forth. You can actually click on this here. It'll open this up and see what kind of, you know, what does it look like without privacy protection? What does it look like with privacy protection? So you can see with um, the protection, this is what they see. Without it, they actually see your information rather than Bluehost's information. So um, anyway, uh, terms of service, I agree to the domain. Yep, I'm gonna agree to ter terms of service and add to cart. Uh, on the domain privacy bit, if you were publishing information that, I don't know, maybe was more sensitive and you wanted to be concerned, again, to protect your, your privacy, your information, that's where that could certainly make sense to do so in that situation. Um, so let's go ahead and add to cart. And yep, it has my credit card information already stored in there, which is great, so I can just use that again. Domain name registration, quantity, do I want it for a year, two years? I'm just gonna go one year and you can see it'll uh, change the price. Free domain uh, privacy plus protection, so I do get it free for a month, so that's nice. And then I'll click process order. And then once it's processed, it should be available for me to use. Okay, so here we go. Um, 
Uh, so now we're, okay, thank you for your purchase. If you experience any problems, contact. And definitely, if you do have any problems, feel free to contact them. Uh, they're really great about helping you out. That's one of the things I love about Bluehost is a great customer service. Okay, to use your new domain, connect it to your hosting account by assigning it. So now we're going to click Assign Domain. And this will be the next step here. First, select a domain that you would like to assign. Use a domain that is already associated with your account. Use a domain that is not already associated with your account. So we're going to use the discoverdo.com. That's the one I just created. Um, and then, uh, let's see, verify ownership. The domain is currently associated. The domain is currently associated to, but unassigned to your account. So um, next, please. Next, please choose how you would like to assign the domain. You always want to, uh, typically you're going to select add on domain um, as opposed to parked or unassigned. Um, this is the one you typically always want to select. And then as far as the directory, this will be pre-selected for you and pre-populated here. I always like just going with this. It makes it easy to find. Um, otherwise, if you change the name, sometimes it could be easy or it can be harder to find your directory if it's not the same name as your website or your domain. So that's where I'll go ahead and, and stick with that. And then I'm just going to click Assign This Domain. And that should just take a few seconds here. So I, just, a, I guess, a, a bit of information. This can look kind of confusing if you've never seen it, seen it before. It can seem kind of intimidating. If for some reason you click some things that, oops, I didn't want to click that, let give Bluehost a call. Let them know. They can step in and, and help you. And again, that's what's so great about them is their customer support. You can actually call them over the phone, have someone talk to you, make sure everything gets straightened out. So again, that's why I really love using them and recommending them, especially for anyone who's getting started with hosting. Again, I'll put a link in the description um, if you're looking for a good hosting provider uh, for Bluehost. So feel free to take advantage of that. I'll include any deals, discounts right now. They are giving uh, some extra savings to any of our subscribers who do sign up uh, with the link below uh, that you don't get when you just go to straight to their website. So it's like you save an extra dollar per month or something, which is actually pretty cool. So um, here we are. So now we're back in the domains and we can see my Discover Dude is an add-on here. And that's what I wanted to see. So now if I click on My Domains, Take a few seconds here and it'll load up the domains I have in this account. And um, we'll see Discover Dude. Whoops. Use your Bluehost, use your Bluehost dashboard to monitor. Okay, yeah. Uh, da, da, there we go. I'm sure. Okay. Okay, so here we can see the domains I have. We have this exclamation mark because it wants me to verify the uh, contact information. Uh, as you can see, it says not verified. So I'm going to go check my email right now and see about verifying that. So I wanted to show you what this looks like when you get the email. It says one last step to activate your domain. You actually have to click this verify email. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, verify this. And I'm going to verify it in a, another tab here. Thank you, you've successfully verified your who is contact information. So that's an important last step. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on domains again. Oops, let me, actually, let me just refresh, sorry, refresh this page within the domains and we'll see if that went ahead and took care of that error or the need for it to be verified. There we go, now we can see it's been verified and this is all good to go. So now, um, uh, you, that's basically the, the steps for going ahead and getting a new domain into your Bluehost account. If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below. Sometimes there's different situations you might have, and I'm always happy to try and help if I can. But uh, otherwise, um, stay tuned for more great tips and tutorials on using web hosting, getting websites set up, using WordPress, and so forth. Um, look forward to uh, showing as much as I, I can that'll be helpful for you guys and, and let me know what other types of content you'd like to see down below as well but again thanks for watching appreciate your time hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video